Oh, just touched the chandelier. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about skincare, and that is why we're in the bed. I feel like I touch on skincare in almost every video, but I never really do a full one. I've done, I think I did one maybe two years ago, so it's time for an update. Let's get started with, I wake up, and this is pretty much what I look like, you know. And the first thing that I usually grab are my makeup wipes. And the makeup wipes that I use right now mostly are the Aveeno Positively Radiant. These are probably my favorite right now. They're super, super gentle on the skin. I use the Neutrogena ones for a very long time, but I always noticed that I would get little red bumps or irritation by my eyes and it always felt a little irritating too I just didn't notice it I guess as much as this year I noticed it a lot more so this I feel like leaves a really moisturizing finish uh, it doesn't really take away too much of oil or natural things that your skin needs so I feel like this has been my favorite. I use it on clients, I use it on myself, um, and I just really like the moisturizing effect. And it just hasn't really irritated my skin, like, at all. So I've been really, really loving these. I really recommend them. So after that, I kind of cleanse my face. I already took a shower and stuff, so I'm, but I'm going to do my skincare routine with you guys. Like, my morning one, at least. And then I'll just show you my nighttime faves. So... After I clean all of the excess dirt, makeup, whatever I had on my face from the night before, I like to clean my face. So when I take a shower is when I wash my face because the steam, the heat kind of opens up your pores and it's kind of the best time to wash your face. So I love Tatcha. If you guys have been watching me for a long time, you guys know that I love Tatcha. And this is the mix that I use in the shower. It's the gentle rice enzyme powder and then the camellia cleansing oil so you can actually use this as a makeup remover as well i actually have to get more of this it's empty there's a little bit left i will use that little bit because this stuff is expensive and you know i don't let any product go to waste i literally scrape the bottles what i do is i pour like a little bit of this in my hand pump a little bit of this mix it together and just put it on my face. It's just the most calming, nice way to really wash your face and it's good for my sensitive skin, it's good for dry skin, um, which is what I have, especially now that we're going into the winter months, my skin's gonna be extremely dry. So these are my favorite to wash in the morning after the gym, it feels great. I actually learned this combo because I used to use obviously just this or just this. I didn't learn to like combine them until I watched, I think I think Katie was getting a facial and she recommended, um, or Yoli, whoever was doing her, I think it was Yoli, that was doing her facial recommended to combine these and it's just like a really nice, gentle, gentle exfoliator. So I've just been loving this and I've been using this for as long as I can remember, maybe like at least a year by now. After that, I like to use a serum, which I will do right now because it's that time. So I like to grab the Olay Henriksen Glow Cycle Serum. Yeah, this is my favorite right now. It's age-finding, gives you a really nice glow. It just kind of like brightens your skin up. So I'm just gonna take a little tiny pump of that and just put it up my face. I like to put it on my neck a little bit as well. And just kind of like press that in and it just gives your skin a really nice glow it's got that purple I'm just gonna pour a little bit so you guys can see it's got like a purple glow to it it's like really really pretty and I think that's like part of the brightening I started bringing down um, serums and creams and stuff to your neck just because I feel like like your neck is still an important part that should be moisturized exfoliated cleaned like because you are still bringing makeup down, like I bring my makeup down to my neck, so you have to just remember to take care of that as well. So that is what I do. So after that, I kind of like to let that sink in a little bit. And then I'm really liking, I got this, um, I think I was in Idaho at the time, um, the Milk Makeup Cooling Water Stick. And I put this underneath my eyes. 
And it just kind of helps to moisturize. I actually put it really all over. It kind of helps to moisturize and wake you up a little bit. It de-puffs as well, which I love. I still have sparkles on my eyes from the other day. How? So I just kind of like to do that and just kind of rub it in with my finger. I feel like that's a nice deep puffer and moisturizer. I look super pale on this. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I really, really have been loving this. It's just like tiny, it's like easy, and I've been trying it for, let's say, two months now, and I've really enjoyed it. It's just an easy, like, go-to. If I'm not using that, I'm using the La Prairie Eye and Lip little combo thing here. I got this sent to me. It's an anti-aging eye and lip perfection porter. It's like a mini eye and lip kit. So if I'm not using that, I'll use this. So it's got the eyes. It's got the eye cream right there. And then it's got the lip moisturizer right there. So I like to use the lip. That's Super moisturizing. La Prairie is like a crazy expensive company, but their skincare is like freaking on point. So if I don't use the La Prairie one, which I usually almost grab almost every time, but if I don't, an alternative is the Hourglass Lip Oil. This is a really great moisturizing lip oil. I, I got it when I went to their store in Soho and one of the artists there, Chanel, put it on me and I was like, what is that? I need it. And I got it, so it was really, really great. I've had it for like almost a year now and it's still full, pretty full. Um, you only need like a little bit. And what I like about it is the applicator is nice and cold, I like that. If I'm not using that, instead of, because I really try hard not to use chapstick, I use the Tarte Lip Quench Rescue and I recommend this to all my friends, all of my brides, everything, every one, because it's just so great. It's just so much better than any chapstick or Vaseline that I've ever used. It's moisturizing, it gives you a little bit of color. These come in like a whole bunch of different colors. This is the nude one. It just gives you a really great tint. And from there, I move on to moisturizer. So my t I have two main moisturizers that I use. One is the Tarte Drink of H2O. It's been my favorite for years. I've been using this on myself, on clients. I recommend it to like all my friends just because it's a really great moisturizer for every skin type pretty much because it is a gel it's not too crazy for oily skin and it's really nice for dry skin as well and if I feel like I need an extreme moisturizer I will use the CEO Sunday Riley cream and I've been loving this I got this in a package I don't know if it was a boxycharm or ipsy I got this in but it's really really great I'll read the back for you. It provides a deep, luminous, but never greasy moisturization, and that is what I always look for in moisturizers, because as much as I love hydration, I hate feeling greasy. It also protects you from UV, micropollution, and it really helps with sensitivity. This has always been my main, but I found this one, and I also really like it. I'm gonna probably put the Drink of H2 on, because, you know, when I do a full serum deal, I feel like my skin's pretty nicely moisturized. So I just take a little bit and just put it in there and it smells so great. Every time I put it on one of my brides, they're like, what is that? And I just say, it's a drink of H2O. Tart, so freaking good. But I always put the extra on my own. Anybody else do that? So now we are pretty much moisturized and ready to go. But this is like fully in the morning, let it sit for hours. And then when I'm doing my makeup, I like to use the Tatcha Pore Perfecting Water Gel, just to kind of rehydrate things. I've been using this for a really long time, always really loved it. It's a beautiful gold color. See that? It's just like this beautiful luminescent gold. I mean, it's freaking, it looks like a highlight. It's so pretty. And it just really smooths out the skin, preparing for makeup and smooths out all the pores. And it's just a really great product. I've used it for a long time. And it's got 23 karat gold in it, so yeah. So I use that and then I just, you know, put on whatever primer I wanna use, but I still feel like I have some dark circles or bags. I've been using the Needles No More, No More Baggage by Dr. Brandt. I've used this for years, probably like two years now, and I love this stuff. You just take a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit and just kind of 
pat it in there, and it tightens up that whole eye area pretty much. And it has this orange tint, so it kind of corrects any dark circles that you have. So you just kind of press it in there, but it's funny, you really feel like it's starting, starting to tighten up. So I actually do put this on before makeup too. I also really, really love the Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I've been loving this too. So this like is a really good re rehydrator, not like a setting spray, just to kind of really rehydrate the face. But I mean, I don't know if I would use this as a setting spray. I guess you kind of could. You kind of could. I actually use this a lot in the summer because it was like needed for my face because I do still tan outside. This was a really nice refresher in the summer, but I still use it from time to time just to kind of give my skin a little bit of moisture, especially when it's really cold. So moving on to nighttime, before I use the makeup wipes, I've been using the Rainforest of the Sea by Tarte, the Deep Dive Makeup Remover Cleanser. So I've been using this for a long time as well. I love how gentle it is on the skin. It removes pretty much everything and it's just really really great it's moisturizer for the skin it's gentle it's just like everything that you'd want in a makeup removing cleanser that doesn't like irritate your skin this is like everything you want in this tiny little bottle this is actually a travel bottle there is a bigger bottle this is the 1.7 ounce but there is a bigger bottle that i probably should get because this will be empty pretty soon but i do like to use this to remove all the makeup before i take out the wipes just because it kind of removes like all the layers and then it just makes the process a lot easier instead of just using wipes 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 use this cleanser and then use the wipes it's just an easier process I think so after that I like to use the wipes take whatever off with the wipes and then I go into what I'm going to scrub my face with I have a couple that I like to use three to be exact so if you see this bottle I feel like you should just see my face whenever you see this bottle because I've been using this for seven years. They changed it like a couple of times, but I've literally been using this forever. It's the Clean and Clear Deep Action Daily Exfoliator Scrub. Amazing. I always feel like I use this whenever I feel like there's breakouts or if I feel like I'm just super clogged, I use this and my skin just shines and it's just amazing and just feels nice and clean and it's got that refreshing tingle. I literally use this whenever I feel like I have a breakout coming and I just like kind of scrub it and it, literally breakout's gone. Like I'm not even kidding. I freaking love this and I honestly would choose this most of the time over any other high end because I just trust it. I don't have to worry about it. I know it does its job and yeah, it's really, really great. You know when you see this bottle, you know it's from me. I started using the, my little thing fell off, but I started using the Tatcha Deep Cleanse. It's very, very similar to the Deep Action Exfoliating Scrub, but this is, it says it's for normal to oily skin, but I never had a problem with it. I never felt like I was too dry or anything after it. So yeah, you do want to use a very, very, very tiny bit, but besides that, it's really great. That is that, if I don't use the Clean Clear, I use this. Sometimes I also use the Dr. Brandt Pore uh, Dermabrasion as well, but it's very, um, I haven't, it hasn't been my go-to. Those two are my main go-to, but if you feel like I need some refreshment, I like to go for this one. It's also very nice and deep cleansing and great, and uh, really, you do have that tingly feeling too. It kind of just like really wipes and cleans you out, which I love. After all that, I like to go into masks. And I have a couple of favorites. So my most favorite mask, especially when I am breaking out, is the Peter Thomas Roth Therapeutic Sulfur Mask. This stuff is amazing. I don't put it all over. I only use it as spot treatment just because I'd be like super strong. So I always recommend just to really use it for spot treatment. But I use this when I'm ever breaking out, whether it's on my body, whether it's on my face, it literally does the trick. Usually one night I'll just like sleep with it on and it's just freaking amazing. So yeah, it's a clay mask and I just really put it on spots that are not belonging there and it really gets rid of it really, really fast. Really recommend that for when you're breaking out. It's a really great mask and it freaking lasts you forever. Like I have had this for months. Lasts you forever. You only need a tiny, tiny bit. Moving on 
if I feel like I have some blackheads or just like, especially like in the nose area, I like to really clean out like nose and cheeks. I like to use the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner. I really, really love this stuff, especially if I feel super clogged and gross and I had a lot of makeup on for the past couple days. I always like to use this one. Gets the blackheads out. Maybe I'll use it tonight because I haven't done a blackhead mask in a minute. If you guys do have any recommendations, I'm always interested on in getting rid of blackheads, so please comment them below. Always fun to learn. If I'm not using that, I like to use the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. This is a really great mask. I've used this also for a really long time. Also makes the skin feel really nice, really clean, really tight. I like that feeling with clearing masks. So this is also really great. I really feel like this one is more for spa treatment. This one, I think it is gentle enough to use all over your face, but also I recommend you just doing a thin layer, nothing too crazy. And I wouldn't do it for longer than 15, I think, depending on your skin and depending on what you're used to. For sensitive skin, I would just probably do 15 and just take it off. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. This is a mega size too. <laughs> this is three and a half ounces. Really, really love this guy. Moving on in the mask world. I like the Ole Henriksen Cold Plunge Pore Mask. This is also a really great mask to clear out any blackheads and pores and just, especially if you're feeling like really clogged, I just love these kind of masks. And this is another mask that has that cooling tingle. It comes out blue, I, yeah, comes out like this really crazy blue color. I leave this on for about 15 minutes as well and it's just really nice, relaxing, cooling, and you just feel like everything's being released from your face. And that's it for like clearing treatments. For nighttime moisturizers, I really also use the CEO cream for nighttime. If I need a moisturizer at night, I use the CEO. But I also really like to leave this on and if this is like for me a two in one. It's the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud and I've been loving this for years. I've been using this for about five years now. Six, seven years maybe now. I freaking love this stuff. I've been using it for forever. Ever since it came out, I just remember smelling it. The smell, ugh. It's funny, the smell actually brings me back to like when my dad first, like, he's not remarried, but he's like in that area, if that makes sense. They're basically married, but they aren't. My stepmom and my step brothers and sisters, we went on a vacation in Disney. Okay, this is like t totally off topic, but like I always take smells and like music to like memories. Does anybody else do that? I always do that. So it reminds me of when we were all first together on our first vacation and we all did this mask together. And it was just like, it's just a good memory. Good smell memory, if that makes sense. I use this as a mask slash moisturizer. Super, super moisturizing at night and relaxing and just, it smells so great and you could sleep with it on and it's just amazing. So I totally recommend this for dry, sensitive skin. As far as the serum, I've been using the Lancome Advanced Genifique Serum. This is an anti-aging serum. It's really, really great, good for all skin types. I've been using it for a short time, so I don't have too much to say about it, but it's been working for me. It's been feeling really nice. I like wish I had, could give you a full review on it, but I wanted to give you guys a serum for nighttime. Lola! Okay, so I wanted to give you guys a serum for the nighttime. I used to use the Kate Somerville one. I used to love that one. I might go get it again, but it is expensive, so I really kind of use pretty much things that I have, things that I get in PR, I wanna, you know, I take pride in that. So I wanna, you know, try everything out that I get. But I've been trying this one out and it's really nice and I feel like I need to use things that are more anti-aging now because I am getting older. I do, the moisturize is a big check in my book. So I'm trying to like move into different areas into like clearing treatments and into also anti-aging because I'm getting up there. I'm not saying that I'm old. I'm old. Am I old? I don't know. 25? 25, damn. Okay, moving on. If I'm not using those, you guys know I love Biobel. These are their fun little face masks. They have so many different little cute ones. They're all like differently themed. Like they have unicorn ones, they have wine ones, they have like just like a whole bunch of really, really cute ones. I really like the Unicorn Shake and the Dream Skin. Those are the ones that I always really use. This one cleanses, tones, and moisturizes, and then you have the Clarifies and Brightens. So these are really, really good, easy go-to if I'm just not feeling like applying a full mask to my face. 
sheet masks are amazing and I've been using these forever. I love their whole theme. They're just so fun and playful and they've just been my favorite for a while. So I totally recommend them if you're not, you know, going into the whole let me paint my face deal. The last one I want to mention, the Tarte Maracuja Sea Brighter Eye Treatment. I've been using this also for a very long time. And if I feel like my eyes are a little red. Damn, someone is going fast. I need a little bit of extra eye moisturization. I do like to use this, but at night, usually I do go for the La Prairie. The Tarte Maracuja is a really nice alternative to the La Prairie. Yeah, and that is all of my skincare. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, thumbs it up. Hit that notification bell. Get my notifications. It helps me. It helps you see my videos. So definitely do that. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next in the comments below. I love you guys so much. Mwah!